the power to arouse curiosity. If, 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 if the power Welcome to Tinkernet.com's video tutorials. In this tutorial, I will show you how to edit the programs that start with Windows. This project is free to do, and the reason for this project is to remove any unwanted programs that start with your computer. This will make startup times faster, and removing some of these programs will also increase system performance. So to begin, just click on the Start menu in the lower left hand corner of your screen. From here, select the Run command. Now once this window pops up, type in msconfig, or msconfig, and then click OK. And what this will do is it launches a system configuration utility. In this utility, you can edit all sorts of stuff like the system file and the boot file, but I suggest not to do that unless you know what you're doing. Right now, we're just worried about the startup entry, so click the startup tab at the top. Now this will list all the different programs that start whenever your computer starts up. But as you can see just by looking at it, it's kind of difficult to tell exactly what these programs are. So the best way to tell what they are is to go to the middle command column and drag it out until you can see the full folder path. Now it's by these folder paths that we'll be able to tell what type of program it is. For instance, this program is located in a QuickTime folder, so this is the QuickTime program. So to disable it, I just uncheck the box right beside it. This one right here is a Java program, so I can uncheck that also if I don't want it to start up. Now it also gives you the options of enabling all or disabling all the boxes. So when you're through, just click apply and then click close. Now it will tell you to restart your computer. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'll go ahead and exit without restarting. Now keep in mind that just by disabling these programs does not delete them. So you can always go back and re-enable them if you run into a bunch of errors or you figure, it, figure out that you disabled the wrong program. So to re-enable them, just go back to the system configuration utility, choose the startup tab, and then find the programs that were unchecked and go back and recheck them. You can either click on the box or just enable all. And then click apply, close, and restart your computer. That's it for this tutorial. For more tutorials, go to tinkernut.com.